Almost four months since a fire tore through the May apartments in southwest Portland. The fire displaced more than 100 people and a suspect was arrested on arson charges. But today, crews are finally beginning the process of demolishing what remains of the building. Fox 12's Carly Olson is at the scene right now where construction workers have been busy all day. Carly? Yeah, Pete and Riel, I'm here across the street from what remains of the May apartments. And if you look closely behind me, you can see the large pile of charred wood and debris that crews have just begun to assemble today. They told me that they started work at 7 a.m. today and that the teardown alone could take up to two weeks. It's been a reminder to locals about the value of these historic spaces in the Portland community. Tearing down what couldn't be saved. Demolishing history and memories. I understand why why it's happening, but it's still it's still sad to see. On Tuesday, Ian Green stopped to take a look at the scene on Southwest 14th and Southwest Taylor, where the demolition process started on the remains of the May apartments. I work for an antique and architectural salvage company, and so it's 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 unfortunate to see this crumble with a building like this. I understand, you know, with asbestos and, and the fire and what that, what comes after a fire is it's, it's a lost cause in some ways. On May 16th, the apartment complex was engulfed in flames, leaving residents without homes and precious belongings. And I was driving up and I saw the flames coming out, which was interesting. Brian Smith lives a couple of blocks away and said he could smell the smoke from his apartment. We closed all the windows and stuff. We're used to it by now with all the smoke recently, but it, it was wild just seeing that it was just a couple blocks away. Soon after the fire, police arrested May Apartments resident Garrett Rep on multiple counts of first degree arson, recklessly endangering another person, and first degree criminal mischief. Contractors had to dispose of debris containing asbestos before starting the demolition of the 113 year old building. A loss of the classic architecture that sets Portland apart. It's sad. One of my favorite parts of the city is like that historic architecture, and it's always sad to see it go down like that. Safety is paramount, but it is sad. And the history of old Portland is, is important to preserve that. And whatever the city can do to help preserve that or fund those sorts of things would be cool. But yeah, I mean, with fire, it's, it's almost a lost cause. Crews tell us that even though the teardown itself could take up to two weeks, it will likely be several weeks before the entire scene is cleared. Reporting live in southwest Portland, I'm Carly Olson, Fox 12 Oregon.